Burt Reynolds as ex-CIA tough man Malone on the Sunday Big Movie at 4 on WZTV 17 Nashville. <laughs> oh, well, you're here. Good evening. Uh, if you were expecting the new Twilight Zone, forget it. If you're familiar with me little Friday night escapades, then excuse me whilst I initiate the newcomers. Me name is Benedictine. They say I bumped off me fellow monks, so now they call me the Mad Monk. Although I haven't had anything to be mad about for quite some time. Until now. You see, there's just a little problem just above me wine cellar. It's called a television station. Ever since ZTV moved in, I haven't been able to concentrate on me winemaking here. So, me assistant Red Skeleton and I, uh, say hello, Red. <laughs> uh, we, we've made it a Friday night ritual to take over the airwaves and run me own favorite movies. That really chaps the management, or they haven't been able to find out where I am or how I do it. Until they pack up and move on, I'll be here each Friday evening. Tonight, I brought out the big gun. Uh, this feature stars none other than the Count himself. Uh, but let me give you a little warning. Tonight's picture really sucks. So get ready for Taste the Blood of Dracula. <laughs> here. Rule number one. If you ever get fortunate enough to lock up the good count, by all means, don't let him go. It doesn't take a fortune teller to see trouble on the horizon. We'll take a break, then we'll get right back to taste the blood of Dracula. Here's a quick and easy lunch idea. Hearty, nutritious sandwiches piled high with real foot old-fashioned bologna. It's real good. It's real foot. All right, let's double check now. Got your lead line turtleneck sweat on? Good. Then let's get back to taste the blood of Dracula. Roll the film with. I tell you, the Count sure does look thirsty, doesn't he? The Mad Monk here, it's after regular business hours. I hope the old boy has his automatic telemachine card for the blood bank handy. <laughs> Hell hath no fury like a vampire scorn. I sure hope that he doesn't go batty again and fly off the handle like he's prone to do. Let's get back into tonight's feature, shall we? Taste the blood of Dracula. Red, roll the film, will you? I'm telling you, what an ego on that count, huh? Count Dracula, you're so vain. <laughs> Get it? Vain? Blood? Vain? Anyway, I'm the Mad Monk, your host for this monstrosity of a movie. We'll take a short pause for the cause, and then we'll return to the taste of the blood of Dracula. Oh, good. You made it back just in the neck of time. <laughs> Get it, the neck? <laughs> the count is getting out of hand. Anyone have a wooden stake on them? <laughs> Tommy and Paul from 
94.5, the Fox. Non-stop action. We're talking unbelievable. Box Office Biggie, starting Monday only on ZTV, Nashville 17. Intermission, the show that asks, how much do you really know about the silver screen? This intermission brought to you by Hyundai. This 1983 romantic comedy was inspired by Moon Unit Zappa's hit song about an affected teenager. Can you name it? On our 10-point scale, this question has a difficulty rating of... 6. 3, 20, here is the 2, no, three. Oh, hello, the mad monk here, I was just going over me inventory of wine. Oh, it's a mighty good selection of wine, if I do say so myself. Uh, you might say it's me list of booze who. <laughs> but seriously, I hope you're enjoying tonight's feature so far. You can always count on the count for a good time, can't you? Uh, let's see what he's up to as we return to taste the blood of Dracula. Roll him red. Good evening. The war was over. He surrendered to General Grant in Virginia, a place called Appomattox Courthouse. When? Three days ago, sir. But not for these guys. The war is over.